Hello everybody, Drew here, tip of the mitt flips, where I'm a stay-at-home dad and a part-time eBay reseller, and every 100 subscribers there's a giveaway. So if you're watching, make sure you subscribe so you have a chance to win. And today, we're going to unbox a Mikhail mystery box. So those who've been around for a while, you know what that is. Any new subscribers, new viewers, Mikhail mystery boxes are just what I call inventory I get from my friend Mikhail. He lives in an area where his sourcing is much better than mine, plus he happened to come upon a bunch of other inventory that he kind of just needed to unload, so he sends it to me at the cost of shipping. So usually, that's why I always say it's when I sell a Mikhail mystery box item, I say cost less than a dollar because the boxes usually run from 30 to $60, something like that. And so per unit, it usually comes out to less than a dollar. This one in particular, if I can locate my phone, this one costs $36. And I think there is 36 items here. I'm not gonna count, I don't ever bother. That's why I would say less than a dollar. I assume it's somewhere in that range. But it was a small enough box, I was able to get everything out and on the table. I do not, I always preface with this, I do not endorse mystery boxes. I'm not saying go out and buy mystery boxes because the key to a mystery box is you have to have trust in the person you're getting it from. Are there some you could get? Yes. Are there scams? Yes. There was a time when the Amazon mystery boxes were actually a viable business where you could just get them, unbox them, resell the stuff on eBay and back on Amazon even, the Amazon returns. That ship has sailed. Now it's mostly scams. There are some few and far between. Um, if you're a clothing seller, Hustle and Hooks, go follow them on Instagram. They unload very cheap, good reseller mystery boxes, shoes, clothing, stuff like that. That's a great one. I would endorse that one. Go check it out. Tell them I sent you there. So first thing is a peak car to car charger jump start so you jump a car from its cigarette lighter that seems to be what this is saying huh my knowledge of how a car functions is limited but i did not know that was a possibility even but this is new in package with a barcode that's my favorite the there are three or four new in package items where the packaging is very beat up this one will stay in the packaging but there are some that i will take a photo somewhere probably the very last photo with the packaging and i'll put in the description that here you can see it is a new open box new inbox but i'm not going to bother sending you this nasty nasty box next up is nintendo gamecube mario power tennis and this is case only no game i sell empty gamecube game boy advanced lots lots of the cases for your bigger titles or your niche titles or your expensive titles it is worth selling just the case collectors stores i don't know about this one in particular i'll have to look it up people desire to have the original inserts, original cases, and there is some value in them, which I'll actually, if this is worth $9.99 or above, I'll swap this out for a better case that I have laying around because I do hang on to them for that exact same reason. If I come across a game without a case, I have the case. And then next up is a Sizzix Paddle Punch Starter Kit. I've sold quite a bit of Sizzix stuff, and this appears new but maybe has been opened and resealed i'm thinking this has been opened and resealed because it does appear that something is missing right here so i will sell this as used but has a barcode couple pictures this will get listed today that was the reason i opened it i wanted some easy listers i'm also doing really well getting listing listings up so i have my death pile money pile here that is mostly just needs to be done with. <laughs> There's not a lot here that's actually going to get listed. You know, some of this is local marketplace. Some of it is garage sale. And then all of this is garage sale. I went and got a load from my storage today, and except for this box here, but all of this is garage sale. That thing a Nerf garage sale because it's just not worth listing. The, the shipping on a large Nerf gun, it has to be the one. And I also don't test them because I don't have the darts and all that kind of stuff. So. I don't mess with Nerf guns. I know people do. I'm not that guy. And then this gun boot ATV mounting bracket. 
I don't know if this is new or not. It will be sold as used or new open box, depending on how it looks in the inside. This might be something I sell local on my marketplace just because of the area I live in. I live in a very four-wheeler hunting friendly area, so might be an easy flip for me. I'll see. I'll have to look up. Actually, I will look up what that's worth, but it'll be part of everybody's favorite game show. What? what? And today on What's That Worth is a, what is this thing even called? A Colpin Gun Boot ATV Mounting Bracket, which I don't know if this is vintage or not, but that, that Polaris right there looks a little old. So I'm thinking this thing is vintage. A uh, number 20025. And how you play What's, what's That Worth? is pause the video, please don't cheat. If you do, no one will know except for you. It'll sit in your brain and you'll fester and, and you'll have to admit to it on your deathbed, so don't do it. Put your guess of how much you think that's worth in the comments and whoever is closest without going over Price is Right rules because Price is Right rules. Bob Barker era, not the Drew Carey stuff. And whoever's closest without going over will get uh, some tip of the mitt flips merch. It will be stickers, magnet, that kind of thing. Whatever I can get you in a plain white envelope with a stamp so it doesn't cost me a ton of money. Something like this, or maybe something like that, donated to me by two of the best viewers there are, the Lowrys. I appreciate them so much. They've been very good to me over now the years, I think. I, are we, has it been that long? I'll have to double check. Has it been years yet? I don't know. Um, next up, Dose of Colors from Disney. This is maybe an, a lipstick or a lip gloss or something. I have no idea what that's worth. Also in that box, a Wii. A Nintendo Wii. This is probably the third Wii Mikhail has sent me. I don't know if he just doesn't like testing them or they're not worth enough money to deal with or whatever it is, but I'll sell it for parts repair or I will not fix it anymore. I mentioned that a few videos back. That's why the PS2 is over there. Those are going, going to go on local marketplace or listed for parts repair on eBay because I can't sell them locally for parts repair. That's I'll get nothing for them. The time it takes me, I can fix them. The time isn't worth the extra dollars. It just doesn't add up. You know, give them a good clean job. If they work, then yeah, I'll, I would consider listing them, but I'd still rather list them locally because then I can plug them in to the TV right here when they pick it up and go, it works right now, this sale is closed. Whereas on eBay, I would always go the extra mile, take them apart, refurbish them, clean them, make sure the fans are, are cleaned out, the lasers cleaned, all that kind of stuff because they could have it for two weeks and have a, a 17 cats in their house, fills the fan with, with cat hair, and do a return. I can't go through all that, and I don't feel comfortable selling it working without going through that. So I think local marketplace is going to be my new thing for consoles, unless they are actually broken, which this one was my last one that I went to repair, and it was four months ago. And that's where it sits still, because that's what happened. I spent 20 minutes figuring out what was wrong with it, maybe even longer, maybe 45 minutes, and then I was gonna have to order a part and do all this other stuff. No, can't do it, can't spend the time. Move on to the next thing. And then here is a pair of new open box, new destroyed box uh, spy snow goggles. Then we have four water filter tree filters. These are for a Samsung refrigerator. I know there are some proprietary issues with selling filters on eBay. I don't think you can't do it. I think you have to, there's something specific you have to do in the titles. I don't know. I'm gonna be very careful listing those because I know there are some issues with Vero strikes. Just don't wanna have any, you know, negativity in my account. Next up is this DVD box set, which Here's everything inside is good to go. The Just the corner there took some damage and the plastic packaging here has a, I don't know, fold in it or something. Either way, I've never heard of this Broken Saints. It looks niche enough that it's probably worth something. It has a barcode, but not really. It has a fake barcode. So we'll see. We'll see what that's worth. But new in package. I like it. Um, these I'm interested in. 
Wendy Wu. These are ballet slippers. And these appear to be possibly new. Size 10 Wendy Wu ballet slippers. I have no idea what ballet slippers are worth. I know very expensive ones are very expensive, but these could be super cheap. It says right on the outside, made in China, but I don't know if that matters for, maybe that's where all ballet shoes are made. No idea, but that's interesting. That took way too long to get back in the bag. That was super frustrating. Uh, this is, is it University of Utah? Utah State? The Utes, I think, but a five wood club head cover. I love selling club head covers and niche ones can make you some pretty good money. But in general, I don't care if this is $9.99 free shipping. That's perfect for me. That's what I'm looking for in these boxes usually. Uh, and then we have a gun holster, a bulldog has a barcode. And th this is one of the ones it's new in package, but the packaging is so beat up that does it really help to keep that packaging? I don't know. Like I said, I'll probably do the final picture with the packaging and say new open box, box not included because it's trashed. Something like that. I don't know. I'll have to see when I look it up how the other listings look. If it sells for a good price used, I'll sell it as used. I don't, I really don't care because the price per item is very low. Here we have Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends DVD box set. I actually used to watch a lot of Rocky and Bullwinkle back in the day when your cartoon options were very limited. I was just thinking this the other day. I've seen every single Looney Tune cartoon multiple times. And I don't, that, I'm not like exaggerating. I mean, I've seen every single one in existence multiple times because at a certain point in my life, it, there was no YouTube, there was no Netflix. So there wasn't this constant, oh, here's a new show, new show, new show, new show. We were lucky to get Cartoon Network that just played cartoons continuously all the time that I would watch continuously all the time. But what you end up watching is the same cartoons continuously all the time. Here we have a AC adapter. I do like selling AC adapters. I don't like listing AC adapters because it's kind of like with the wigs or the remotes. It's one of those things where, you know, one or two will, when you, if you list a bunch of them, one or two will sell a week and then one or two a month. And it's just a nice little add on that you can find always. But do I like listing 9.99 AC adapters? No. I don't enjoy that one bit. Next up, two alcohol breath checkers. So that's cool. Hopefully this is $9.99 free shipping or above. Original price, $20. Sold clearance, uh, $2. But multi-quantity listing, I like that. With a barcode, this will get in the pile of things listing today. And then this is the other one where I don't even think this is a new in package. I think it's been reboxed in here. But I was just talking about Franklin. This is a Franklin spelling ace, but I, I was talking about the Franklin Bible, electric Bible that I had sold that got returned. So I think because of that, I would, even if this was new in package, I would open it because selling it used for $50 is still better than selling it new in box for $200. And then they get it and it doesn't work. And it's a whole bunch of hassle. I think that will be my, probably my process going forward for new in package electronics because I, I always say I like to protect I'm more to protect my downside risk than to reach for upside possibility so I think that might have to be added into my business policies and then next up this will I haven't gone through it yet there's different sets in here but I'm loving well listing silverware I haven't sold any of them yet but you get them so cheap this bag right here will pay for plus profits this box. So everything else will be profits after that. Civil War is not a fast seller. And my assumption is, because this is the, a new niche that I'm dabbling in, is that the hot time for selling silverware is from you know October through January, when people are having sit down meals, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, all that area. So I guess maybe a little further. The colder months. Next up is some, it's not Lego. I'm not sure what, what type this is, but I have sold these types of figures before. Oh, I'm blanking on what it's called though. But either way, I like selling little toys. There's a possibility these are worth selling individually. If not, I will lock them all together. Then next up is a Jaguars, not the football team. It is West Jordan Jaguars. I have no clue where that is. I'm assuming that's a 
college. And I don't know. I've never heard of it. Could be a high school. And then we have a weatherproof security camera. Again, this could be new open box. This could be used. I don't know. This one also has a microphone, but this is a like a hard line camera. These are, at this point, these are very outdated. So I have no idea what this is worth. I mean, look at the TV they're connecting to. It's got RCA hookups. I don't know. I've been wanting to get a security camera. Maybe I will use this for myself because I could either mount it on the back of the house, which is where the, the pool is for my kids and hook it up to this TV right here so I can keep an eye on them when they're out there. Or I could put it out on the front side of the house, keep an eye on the driveway. I do want to start scheduling USPS pickup, mostly because my new carrier, he's a nice young man. I think he'll accept it more than some of the other carriers might have. Uh, not that he'll enjoy it, but accept it. And then if I mounted a camera and had a live feed here, I would know when he arrives. So that's something to think about. But again, if it's worth money, I'm selling it. And then these, I'm very much hoping these are chin shields, Nike chin shields. Pretty sure these slide over your chin strap, but I'm very much hoping that these sell for about $9.99 free shipping. That would be awesome because there is one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. So if these are $9.99 free shipping, that's about $50 in profit right there. That would be awesome. It would be some multi-quantity listings. I wouldn't do a variant listing. I just don't like them. As a shopper, I never, I never want to see a variant listing. I'm never going to click on it. Every time I do, the one I want is never available in the drop-down menu. And it doesn't tell you that in the listing until you click on it and get into the listing. So for me, that's a waste of time. I'd rather just go to the item I want. A single listing for the item I want. I think variant listings are, in most cases, terrible, but multi-quantity, amazing. And then this right here, I'm not sure how much this, this go, is going to go for. And unfortunately, it's not a hole. It's just an indentation. But it was because on the top of the box, this had ended up on top somehow. And so it was squishing in right there so that it will bounce back a little bit. But this is a Harley seat. So that's going to be probably 50-ish dollars. Oh, no, I don't even got to ask. I know I'm making profits here. I always like to ask, anything you see that's a out of the park, list it right away. Anything that's a problem, like have you sold those filters before? Is that a problem? And now for the results of what? What's that worth? For this, Copeland gun boot ATV mounting bracket number... Two zero zero two five eighty dollars free shipping. I will not ship it free shipping, but also that's that's great news. It'll be fifteen ish dollars for shipping, so I will calculate that out for the winner of this contest for the purposes of what's what? that worth. But there is only one sold and about five listed. So I will try to, I will match price with the cheapest one. The cheapest one is sixty dollars plus twenty dollars shipping. But the most one has sold for in the last 90 days is only 35 plus shipping. But I do not have to match that price. I just have to match the price of the cheapest one. I will also add best offer. And because cost of goods, less than a dollar, I will take about any offer that comes in above $25. So to whoever won, I will let you know in the comments that you were the closest without going over. And then we'll link up after that. I won't go through all the details. We'll figure it out at that point. Well, that's going to be all for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, share, and be good to each other. Just really neat. Hey, hey, hey. Do, they, do they ever you know, really fix things? No idea what this is. What do I care? Let's go. I'm good at this.